Let me see what happens if I hit them on the head. Will anything crazy happen? Was that a soaring eagle? So, uh, what's up, guys? It's here, here by Nino or Quadji, and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer and Warzone 2. In today's video, we got a nice little special tracer pack, which is known as the Tracer Pack Butch Operator Bundle. And this is actually the 4th of July bundle uh, for 4th of July this year. As you guys know, ever since Modern Warfare 2019, we always get a tracer pack fireworks bundle, tracer pack. Uh, 4th of July bundle and this year we have an actually like a, an American themed operator known as Butch comes with fireworks tracers and dismemberment and it comes with tracers for both the M4 and the Bryson 800 so yeah and it comes with the operator skins as well so you guys are excited to see everything in this bundle see how the tracers look like see how the operator skin looks like see anything special about this bundle or secretive about this bundle that you guys should know make sure you guys drop a like in the video subscribe and turn on those post notifications. On this channel, I do upload tracer bundles pretty often or just bundles in general that interest me. So if you enjoy tracer packs, reactive slash animated operator bundles or anything else, then you guys should definitely stay tuned. I also upload Warzone 2 class at times and any sorts of random videos. So hope you guys enjoy. Just thank you guys for being here. But yeah, with all that yapping out of the way, let's go ahead and check out this bundle. So first off, we got Butch, who is the uh, the new operator here. And he actually comes with a DMZ bonus effect of a free UAV, if that comes to be useful to you. And uh, for an American-themed operator, I mean, he's got his red, white, and blue, man. He looks pretty uh, interesting with that mask on. We don't really know his uh, his identity. We don't know anything about him. I'm guessing he's just like a, a special uh, freaking operator. It also says O-P-O-S. So does that mean piece of, you know... Shiat, I guess you could say, or, or what does uh, what does that mean? What does that say on his chest? Does it just say? Oh, okay. I don't know. There's, I think there's something under the American flag. I can't read it though. But interesting operator. Nothing too crazy though. We also got the Dawn's Light M4 to obviously represent America. It comes with the orange tracers and the free spirit death effect. And when it comes to the tracer effect, you guys can see that it looks really nice. Nice little dismemberment, fireworks effect. Legit lights them up with fireworks after they die, which is kind of crazy. That's really clean. I like that. Uh, we'll definitely see that in game. And if you guys are curious about the attachments, here are the attachments. It kind of looks like the XM4 from Cold War. Even has the We the People on there uh, from the uh, the Constitution, the preamble of the Constitution. And it looks pretty clean. Also, there are no uh, ammunitions on this gun, so you can't put these traces on any other weapons. But uh, at least it looks good on the M4. I say so anyways. It also says 556 Freedom on the barrel, which I think is kind of clean. And we got the Bryson 800 Bomb Burst, which also looks really, really dope. Very similar to the M4, it's going to have the Fireworks Tracer's uh, Dismemberment effect, which looks incredible. And you guys are curious about the attachments. Here we are. It comes with a pretty good class up, I'd say. Not the best class that you can get, but it looks pretty clean. Got the uh, an American barrel there. Got the FSS Freedom series there. As is America, we the people. And just, uh, you know, <laughs> I, can, I can see why this shotgun be very fitting for this type of bundle. You know, America and their shotguns. We also got an active duty slot. The Soaring Eagle vehicle skin for the helicopter, which looks pretty nice. The Roaring Eagle loading screen. The Brawn Eagle weapon charm. The decal of America of a freaking bird. I like that decal. And the Soaring Predator uh, emblem. So a lot to come in this bundle, honestly. So I'm going to cop it, you know, for 2,400 COD points. And if you guys think it's worth it, go ahead and cop it yourselves. Or you can just wait for me to review this bundle. Honestly, it's got a lot of stuff, but we already have a ton of M4s. I think it's the 6th or 7th M4 Tracer that we've already had. And we've had a Bryson 800 before. I think it's the 2nd or the 3rd one. But, yeah, if you already have Tracers, I mean, I don't see the point of this. Unless you really like the fireworks effects, which looks kind of cool. Anyways, let's check out this bundle. Okay, so here we are with the Dawn's Light. And the Bomb Burst Bryson 800. And before looking at these weapons, let's go ahead and see how the decals look like on the TAC-56. Which, as you can see, look very clean. The decal is a really nice look on the TAC-56 and should look pretty good on the M4. And if you guys are curious uh, on how the decal looks like here on the Vaznev, it also looks pretty clean. So you can make definitely make some very good color combinations with like red, blue, or any other camo so you think would be cool and it's a pretty fire decal. But now looking at the M4, here are the attachments once again. And keep in mind, you can change any of the attachments that you want. You just can't add an ammunition because if you add an ammunition, you'll take out the traces. And also, as you guys can see, the gun is animated from the middle, which is kind of cool. Nothing crazy though. But anyways, when you look at the camos, here are the base camos and how the gun looks like with the base camos. Here's how gold looks like which uh, is nothing too special. I mean, you can see the stars kind of light up, uh, you know, with animation. Here's Platinum, 
uh, to see how it looks like. It's kind of cool that it goes into platinum mode and then the stars and the flag comes out again. We also got polyatomic, which kind of gives it like gold polyatomic in the middle, which I think is kind of clean. And it goes into all black. That is kind of tight. I kind of like that on the on the polyatomic there. And then we got Orion, which kind of dons a similar color structure to the polyatomic, but it's not as clean. So yeah, polyatomic is definitely a W. Next up, we got the yellow speckled camo here, which looks pretty sweet. The dark violet camo. Here's how the gun is going to look like, which is pretty dope. I think anything with purple and gold is going to look pretty decent with this gun. Personally, anyways. I don't know. Nothing crazy, though. Here are the solid color camos, in case you guys are curious. I like how the MAGA changes with uh, with these colors, though. I think it's kind of clean looking. So you can definitely make some very dope color combinations with some of the uh, the effects of this blueprint. And here are the event camos. Here are Bowing Blossoms and how it looks like. Kind of goes in and out with the animation in the middle, which is kind of dope. Got Dark Bones. Skull Eater, which looks kind of kind of nice actually with it we've got splatter tactics here train car honestly a lot of the cameras look pretty rad on this just because of the animation look uh there's definitely some good color combinations we also got the cdl camels here in case you guys are curious i like how red looks like on here and green Toronto ultra and the you drop this camo so yeah honestly kind of dope with the combinations of camos and bundle uh, look and then next up, we got the Bomb Burst Bryson 800. And same deal with this. It is animated from the middle very slightly. But uh, like I said, you can't change the ammunition or add an ammunition because then you'll take off the trace rounds. And then uh, when it comes to the camos here, the base, uh, you know, camos on the blueprint. Here is a uh, gold. Looks a lot cleaner with gold in my opinion. You actually see the flag a lot better uh, with, uh, with this gun. Here's how platinum looks like in case you guys are curious. This little American flag there in the middle. Here how's uh, Polyatomic looks like. Looking very fresh. And then the animation makes it all black in the middle, which I think is really dope. And then we also got Orion, which actually looks kind of decent on this gun, at least here in a third-person gunsmith menu, which is kind of cool. And here's how the flag and everything looks like. And then it goes into all brown, I believe, which is pretty cool. And here's the dark violet camo and uh, how it animates with uh, the middle there. So... Not too shabby if I say so myself. And then we got these solid color camels. In case you guys are curious, you can make some some cool color combinations with uh, with some of the colors and everything, especially this navy blue, because you know navy blue <laughs> kind of makes sense, honestly. In case you guys were curious, and then uh, obviously the event camels. Here's how bowing blossoms look. Nice little eagle in the middle, taking form. Dark bones looks pretty nice. Skull leader. A lot of the uh, the event camels kind of look kind of sweet on this gun, if I say so myself. And then here is the uh, the CDL camels, in case you guys are curious. I think London Royal Ravens in the American flag is actually kind of crazy. Because <laughs> London's, uh, you know, London. And then, uh, yeah, there you go. And now we're going to see how the guns look like with their meta attachments for multiplayer. So here's how the M4 Dawn's Light looks like with its base blueprint attachments. And here's how the meta M4 looks like for multiplayer. And unfortunately, you do lose a lot of the main look of the gun. You pretty much keep nothing except the animation in the middle, which I guess is the most important part. So you're going to have to put on a camera to make it look a little bit better. But uh, that's just how it goes. Here's the base blueprint attachments for the Bomb Burst Bryson 800. And here are the meta attachments for the Bomb Burst Bryson 800. And unfortunately, once again, you lose the barrel and the freaking stock, uh, which really loses a lot of the design of the gun. You still keep the animated bird in the middle, which is dope. But you do lose like the main design. So it's up to you if you want to keep the barrel or not. The barrels are kind of like very elementary and like, you know, keeping the design of the look of the gun, unfortunately. I just don't feel like barrels really help much in terms of multiplayer, though they, they might be useful in Warzone, though. And these are probably more Warzone setups, but yeah, there you go. And then if you guys are curious about the operator here, we have our man Bush. If you guys are curious about, uh, you know, if he comes with that second operator skin or something, he doesn't. He only has the one operator skin, sadly. And then the lights out finish move is what he comes with. And I'll show that off in game. But uh, yeah, he looks kind of cool. Nothing too crazy, though. For a 4th of July operator, I kind of wish he had a little bit more, just personally. You know, he, he screams America, but not too much. Anyways, let's head in game, see how the fireworks traces look like, and uh, the decal, and just finish up this video. Let's rock and roll. Okay, so here we have the America gun. The good old uh, Don's Light M4. Looks pretty sweet, I can't even lie. And here we have the Bomb Burst Bryce 800, which looks really clean, actually. I love the look of this gun. Yeah, it's actually a really nice goal. And there are the tracers, the fireworks tracers. 
pink and red, white, and blue. So if you want to celebrate 4th of July, no, if you're a true American out here, uh, that's how you're, you're going to be uh, seeing the guns. So honestly, pretty nice looking tracers. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's see how these tracers look like on foes now. Oh yeah, if you guys can see the iron sight, iron sight's kind of cool. Interesting. Okay, so it explodes from the body. That's very interesting. Thought there'd be like like an actual firework, but still kind of cool in my eyes. Okay, now let's see the Bryson 800. Sheesh. Yeah, that's actually kind of tight. I like the uh, the little nice little fireworks effects. Kind of nice. Let me see what happens if I hit them on the head. Will anything crazy happen? Was that a soaring eagle? I'm about to slow that down for you guys. But yes, if you hit them on the head, there's actual fireworks that happens uh, as they get bodied. I I'm going to do that one more time for a shotgun this time. Okay, so this time I'm going to do the shotgun and then uh, let's see if anything crazy. Oh yeah, also if you guys want to see the ra red laser sight, there's no, no, no uh, nothing special about the laser. Go ahead and see this though. So. That was a jitter freaking bird, bro. You legit get a special bird effect if you hit them on the head. So obviously there's the regular effect when you hit them in the body, but when you hit them on the head, you actually get uh, a special soaring eagle effect, which is kind of tight. I actually kind of like that. Now let's see how our man Butch looks like. Look at him. Looking freaking tough out here. That's nice little fireworks. I like that firework effect right there. That was kind of nice. And now I'm going to switch to my meta class setup so you guys can see that you can change any attachments and keep the tracers. Uh, you know, you just can't change the ammunition. In case you're wondering how the iron sights look like, Here's how the iron sights look like on the M4. Looks kind of sweet with that uh, that American flag in the middle. And I keep my fireworks tracers, which is pretty cool. And these how the guns look like uh, without their uh, you know their base blueprint attachments, which is uh, I don't know, nothing too crazy, but still kind of cool. And in case you guys wanted to see a better look at the decal, here is the uh, the America decal, which looks kind of crazy. My game was lagging there for a second. And here is the Vaznev decal. Very clean looking lead decal. You could definitely, you know, have a lot of co co interesting color combinations with it, in my opinion. I just wanted to see that one more time, bro. That's actually really cool, man. Happy 4th of July with a voice crack. Anyways, let's go into third person mode and check out Butch in third person mode. Okay, here's how uh, Bush looks like in third person mode. You can actually see behind his mask, see a little bit more of his uh, interesting head. And uh, yeah, this is how he looks like. That's a little blue, red, and white uh, little freaking American soldier here looking like a badass. But yeah, that's pretty much this bundle. Honestly, this bundle ain't too bad. It's just there's already been too many M4 tracers. And we just legit had a Bryson 800 tracer like two days ago. So chances are you probably have tracers for both of these guns. If you really like the operator skin, if you really like the tracer effects, which I think the tracer effects are kind of cool this year uh, for the fireworks tracer with the soaring eagle and you get a lot of headshots. That is going to be kind of satisfying to see that bird fly up and do fireworks, but uh, unless you're a true patriot, and I don't know, I just don't see the point in this bundle personally, but that's just me. It's okay. It's not the greatest bundle we've ever seen, but it's it's all right. I can see why people would buy it, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and you turn on those post notifications. Uh, you know, I'll be uploading some Warzone 2 hopefully very soon on the channel, and there'll be more fire bundles to, to come. I really want that Izanami bundle, or Izzy, uh, you know, anime is just... Especially her, she's she's something else. But hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, let me know your guys' thoughts in the bundle in the comment section below. I'll be using this M4 on my main channel, dropping some nukes with it. So make sure you guys are staying tuned in the main channel as well. I freaking love you all, and stay awesome. I'm in it.